Hi guys! So in today's video, I'm actually like really scared to do this for some reason. I don't know why I'm scared because it's makeup and it comes off, but I'm scared. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup with just beauty blenders. I've kind of been missing out on all these challenges, partially because I'm lazy, but also because I feel like they they were just like overdone and my challenge video would... I just got out of my bed, can you tell? Thought about doing this. Um, I didn't want to do the other ones because I thought like, you know, it would just be like putting it on replay, which is very annoying. So I waited and I found one that I actually want to do that isn't that hasn't been overdone i'm so scared because i don't want to fail like i want this to look good in the end so i'm going to start off with some h2o hydrating treatment also just cleaned this and this is moisturizer so i don't need to do that i don't know why i was doing that so i'm going to do my brows first um i got a little bit closer for you guys and I'm using the e.l.f. brow cream to do this. And I'm going to do get a little bit with this beauty blender. It's good. <laughs> the issue is already is that this beauty blender covers up my freaking eye. So I can't even see what I'm doing. Ooh, how am I going to get this to be tapered at the end? I'm trying to like squeeze it, but it's... it's still really thick. Wow, this is off to a great start, Maddie. Okay, I'm going to try to get kind of an ombre brow at the front because that's how I like it, but um, as you can tell right now, it just looks like sparring my eyebrows, so. I don't know what that eyebrow is. I don't know what that one is either. They look completely different. Next is eyeshadow primer, and I'm going to use this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my eyeshadow primer because that's what I've been doing lately. But I'm actually going to use my normal beauty blender for this. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use Brown Script. No, this is my go-to. Oh, I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? Okay, so I'm going to take it. I'm gonna, this is gonna be like my lid color and my crease, and then I'm gonna take another one. Um, on the center of my lid, probably like a gold. Okay, so I don't know if this being dampened actually did anything, but it is a softer sponge, so I feel like I can blend it out a little easier. A little bit more. Am I cheating that I'm using like four different kinds of sponges? I don't care. Hey! Do you guys see that blend? Okay! It's fine. I'm gonna take my MAC pigment, my MAC tan pigment because I'm basic and I always use this. Let me try to fix these brows again before I get glitter all over the end of that beauty blender. I just remembered how awful this is. Slightly annoyed. <clears throat> just slightly. I'm gonna take more of my concealer and try to use my other beauty blender, my real one, um, to clean these up. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I'm starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. Back to the eyeshadow. So, okay, this actually, I think this part's gonna be easy. I'm gonna take my MAC tan pigment and dab it on the lid. Like, you know, it's not difficult, but it's not like getting the show, like the pigmentation that I normally get. It doesn't have that awesome metallic finish. And probably because I'm applying it with a friggin' sponge. I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Pro Glow. I've got some redness under there now. But actually, before I do that, I hate when you do that. Um, I'm gonna take this Becca under eye brightening corrector. Easy. Okay. Foundation. This is also going to be easy. Because obviously this is what a beauty blender was meant for. Now the contour part. And I'm, I'll, I don't want to cheat you guys either. So I'm going to do some powder products too. Because that's what I normally do. Now I'm not going to cheat you guys, so I'm going to take some of the Shape Tape Concealer, even though this is kind of killing me because I feel like it's absorbing a lot of this concealer. And first of all, this concealer isn't cheap, but second of all, that concealer isn't easy to get your hands on anyways because it's always sold out, so I don't want to waste it, but oh well. I feel like I have a lot of product right, yeah, in this sponge, so I just press it on my forehead and some comes out. <laughs> I'm going to use this diamond powder from Winky Lux. And I'm, I guess I'm just going to go in here like this. <laughs> the pressed powder, because my Cody Airstone powder is like basically gone. So... I'm going to use this um, camouflage concealer from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to, oh, ew. I'm going to, like, actually put it on my face with my fingers because I don't want to get the pointed part of my beauty blender that dark. I'm just going to dab. I'm going to apply my contour, my bronzer contour blender with my dry real beauty blender. Now this side's gonna turn out better because it didn't have as much product. Good job, Maddie. Mineral skin finish. So I'm gonna do this too because I'm not gonna cheat you guys. Doing my everyday routine. In that blush trio, and I'm going to use Fresh Melon. I think it's Fresh Melon. These are really pigmented, so you have to kind of chill out. I think I might have screwed up. <laughs> I'm going to use these e.l.f. highlighting dewy drops. Another bomb. Look at that. Boom. Smells so bronzy. I'm actually kind of scared. This is gonna make me look like a disco ball. Okay, um, a little bit, but not that bad. I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty palette, um, and take cocoa first, and then if this ends up doing well, I will take black truffle. Really scared about that. And work this into the lashes. Okay. Looks like I did nothing. So let's try black truffle. Okay, better. Now, what about the upper lash line just normally? Lower lash line. Ooh, I can even kind of get just like a smudgy wing. Ooh, okay. And you know, I don't know if a winged eye was...
really the best option because now I have to do that on this side. You know, normally my makeup, like this would look like crap. Um, normally if I was doing this with brushes, I'd be very disappointed. I'd be like, what the heck happened to you, Madison? Why can't you do makeup? But since I'm just doing this with a beauty blender, the eyes aren't that bad. Now, I'm not going to kid myself. I'm not about to put mascara on my beauty blender. So I'm going to do my mascara normally I'm using the roller lash. Okay, lips. I'm scared. Let's pop, pouty, pop crayon and Coral Crush. I'm going to put some false lashes on because false lashes make everything look better. And I will get back to you guys so that I can give you kind of like a full black whole look of what's going on right now. Okay, so I'm on my phone now. Basically, I think what really killed me over here on this eye is the fallout. Also, for some reason, this foundation's creasing really bad. Um, the brows are not completely terrible. They have shape, but they're not the same shape, and the shape isn't too cute either. Um, ignore the lashes on this side. And then the lips. I always have, like, super defined lips, and it's kind of annoying because I couldn't get that with the beauty blender which sucks but all in all I mean I didn't do awful the contour is a little splotchy but you know I think I did decent so let me know what you guys think in the comments so that is it for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed I am sorry for these false lashes like I don't even know what they're doing this one just did not like it just not it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything right. I just want to show you guys why I didn't clean this fallout off because, you see, that's why. Um, I'm about to take this off anyway. Just wanted to show you guys why if you were like, I didn't even try to get that off because it does that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I am definitely going to, it's my New Year's resolution to try to upload more, so... Let's hope I can stick to that. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you.